procedure step by step. Remove the tab labeled number one. This reveals the lewisite detecting tablet. With the top half of the white paper on the rub strip labeled number two, rub the lewisite detecting tablet. Keep rubbing until a mark is visible on the rub strip's white paper. Hold the sampler detector so that the test spots are up and covered by the protective strip. Using a cardboard square saved from the heater assembly, cover a number three ampule. Then, one at a time, finger crush all of the number three ampules in the three center pockets. Rotate the sampler detector so that the test spots are down. Check to be sure that the protective strip is over the test spots. Using the cardboard square and the thumb of the right hand, force the liquid from the crushed ampules down to the test spots. At the same time, use the left thumb to press on and massage the protective strip over the nerve agent test spot to ensure wetting. Hold the sampler detector horizontal. Swing the heater assembly away from the test spot. Finger crush one of the green number four ampules in the heater and then swing the heater over the test spot. Warning, the heater becomes extremely hot and emits toxic fumes. Hold the sampler detector away from the body and leave the heater over the test spot for a period of two minutes. Since the specific time periods are critical, use a stopwatch for all test sequences. When the two minutes are up, swing the heater away from the blister agent test spot and swing the protective strip away from the blood and nerve agent test spots so that all test spots are open and exposed to the air. Expose the test spots to the air for 10 minutes. During this 10 minute time period, shield the sampler detector from direct sunlight and do not place it on the deck or on any surface suspected of contamination. When the 10 minute time period is up, crush the second green number four ampule in the heater and immediately swing the heater into position over the test spot. Leave the heater in place for one minute. When the minute is up, swing the heater away and use fingers and the cardboard square to finger crush both number five ampules. Then, to ensure wetting, force the liquid down to the blister and nerve test spots. Now, wait two minutes. When the temperatures are below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the waiting time is five minutes. While waiting, go ahead and complete the lewisite test. With the bottom half of the white paper on the rub strip, rub the lewisite detecting tablet so as to make a second mark next to the one made earlier. Immediately, observe the marks on the rub strip test paper. If both marks are tan, there is no lewisite vapor and conditions with respect to that agent are safe. If lewisite had been present, one of the marks on the rub strip test paper would have been an olive green color. When the two minute time period is up, check the test spots. If a blister agent mustard is present, the test spot would be blue, indicating the presence of a vapor blister agent. If a blood agent is present, the test spot would be pink or blue, indicating the presence of a vapor blood agent. When the blood agent test spot shows blue, verify the results with a second test using a new sampler detector. Do only the blood test portion of the test procedure. If a nerve agent is present, the test spot would be colorless or peach, indicating the presence of a vapor nerve agent. The monitoring and survey team marks the area to indicate the kind of agent, the date, and the time of day. Outside, another monitoring and survey team will check for liquid contamination. To test for liquid chemical agents, 
a fresh sheet of M8 detector paper is used for each surface to be checked for contamination. Blot the surface with the paper and wait approximately 20 seconds for the results. When the time is up, check the paper for any color change. A dark green color indicates the presence of a liquid V series nerve agent. A yellow to yellow brown color indicates the presence of a liquid G series nerve agent. And a red or scarlet color indicates the presence of a liquid blister agent. The survey team marks the contaminated area to show the type of agent, the date, and the time of day. A prioritized list of areas to be checked for contamination can be found in the ship's damage control bill. This list will include areas such as CIC, engine room, bridge, gun mounts, and engineering control station. Members of the monitoring and survey team will check all areas listed in the damage control bill. After an area has been found to be contaminated with chemical agents, it will be decontaminated by members of a decontamination team 